Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. I'm doing this a second time. I'm gonna do a get ready with me and I started talking, applying my foundation and it looked horrible, absolutely horrible. So I was like, you know what? I cannot go around looking like this the entire day. So I just removed it and I thought that we would do a second try. So I really wanna use my The Ordinary Serum Foundation but it rains like crazy here. And I'm going out later, so I need to mix a little bit of this one. And this is the Essence. It's the perfect liquid makeup, blah, blah, blah. I have a video with me trying this. And this is waterproof. And then for, just for color, I'm going to mix in a little bit of this because I think that it will be too light otherwise. This was a very, very watery foundation. <laughs> and, oh, oops. I do think that this might be a little bit off, but we're just going to roll with it. Okay, so what I wanted to talk with you guys about was that um, in my recent Get Ready With Me video, I talked a little bit about like a lot of different topics. I talked about like brands I think is shady. Uh, I talked about PR and like all kinds of different stuff and then I also talked about the fact that I was going to do a pap, pap, pap schmear I think it was called uh, when you check your cervix to see if sorry to see if you have like cervix cancer or at the beginning of it the lady everything went fine the lady told me that you're probably gonna need to wait for a very long time like usually it's like three months and she was like yeah you might even need to wait like four months for the result. And I was like, oh, fantastic. So this little cocktail looks so much better than what I had going on earlier. It looked just horrible all over my skin. Like everything looked like it was sitting on top and it looked like I needed to like exfoliate my entire skin. It was so strange. And it was a foundation that I've used so many times. So I didn't know if it was me or just the foundation but anyway I don't remember what kind of day I was uploading that on but my internet went out I think I uploaded it on a Friday by the way and I answered during the Friday I answered some comments but then on Saturday I got my internet back and I just sat down that morning and started answering a lot of comments from you guys because you had like yeah you had shared and you had commented on my video so I wanted to respond to you. The problem was that I was just sitting non-stop replying to comments uh, and then I realized that it's been five hours and I was not done. I still had a lot of comments on that video to answer to and I don't type very slowly. That's not why it took me like five hours it is because of the fact that if someone comments to me and tells me like oh my god for instance talking about like cervix cancer and so on if someone tells me that oh i had a cervix cancer or i had a scare because you guys shared your experiences and i love to read them i don't want to reply with like thank you for watching or um oh that sucks like i want to respond to everything that you're saying but i feel like i am not having like the it feels like i don't have enough time and i have talked about this before that i feel like with me and my channel growing i don't feel like i have enough time to answer comments i have enough time to answer comments uh, but i don't have enough time to answer all comments i've always said that oh i am always like answering uh, comments every day but if i go to a lot of my videos I get like 100 comments, I get, on my Will I Buy It videos I can get like 100 comments, during a normal video I can get like 40 to 70 comments and that's a lot, like that's a lot for me to like go through and read so I have decided not to. Um, I have decided that I cannot stay sane and think that I'm go going to be able to do all this because I cannot. I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour. 
uh, looks like this. I'm only going to go in with the banana powder and the light powder under my eyes just to set it. So I'm not saying that I won't reply to any comments because that's not... I, I will reply, but I will probably only reply to like maybe 80 or 90%. For instance, if someone just comments... Uh, and tells me something, I might just heart the um, the comment because I will read all the comments. But I don't have time to answer all of them. And I think that most of you guys will understand that because it takes so much time. And there's so much behind YouTube that you guys don't see. For instance, today I had to wake up a little bit earlier because I had to... Um, I was so tired last night, so... Oh my god, I love my frizz. I was so tired last night that I didn't feel like uploading a video uh, during the night for today. So I was like, you know what, no, I'm just gonna go to bed, I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. So I had to go up a little bit earlier just to upload the video and then put in all of the information that I needed to put in, fix the thumb thumbnail and all of that. And you know, it's not just sitting down and like recording a video, there's so much more to it. Like, for instance, um, some videos like this, I don't need to plan anything. I just kind of go with it and talk about the things that are on my mind or, uh, yeah, I just talk about random shit that I want to talk about. But for some videos, like for most videos, it takes so much planning. And I'm not trying to sit here and tell you guys like YouTube is the most uh, hard thing in the world because I don't think it is. But it is a problem. Like, it is a lot of work going into it, especially when you, um... It is a lot of work when you upload every single day and you need to plan. That's why I have my bullet journal, because I could not live without this. This keeps me in tact and it keeps me, like, remembering everything. I even... Oh, I have to show you guys this. I bought a new one. I do, I haven't filled mine up. You can see that I have used a lot. I am on, I'm working on my no buy, uh, low buy I mean, but I have, I still have this much left, which is maybe like 40 to 50 pages. So I could use it, but I wanna start fresh for 2019. And I have a lot of concern about 2019. And I, I don't even know if I want to share because I'm so sad about it, but I'm still very, very happy about it. But I'll go ahead and do my brows off camera and then I can come back and we can talk a little bit more about that. So I brought you a little bit closer, but not too close because this is not a tutorial. But I'm going to use the Ferro palette today. And I know I've said that I would never use like Minari Cosmetics palette if I've done my base but I actually used the Dragon Child palette the other day when I had done my base and I used a lot of the blue ones you see you saw that look in my will I buy it video I think it was yesterday and I had that look and I didn't get any fallout so I'm gonna try that today as well but regarding 2019 huh I don't know how much I'll be able to do YouTube. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna quit YouTube, I'm not gonna not upload, but I don't really know if I'll be able to publish five times a week or six times a week or... I don't, I don't really know. Uh, nothing is decided yet, nothing is set into stone. I don't really know if this is something that is going to happen. I'm gonna do something and I feel like I cannot turn it down. This has nothing to do with YouTube. It's not like a brand has offered me like a, a job, you know? It's nothing like that. So in my opinion, I feel like I am, or I have like the perfect balance of being personal, but not too personal. I share so much with you, but there's some things that I don't share, which I enjoy. Like I don't wanna share my entire life and it's not because, I think you guys know, like you, uh, I don't think that no, like anyone wants to share their entire life, but this is just, I think that this is something that I'm, I need to do. This is something that I cannot pass up on, 
But as I said, nothing is set into stone. I love YouTube and I love you guys. So I will probably fix it and I will probably find a way to work around it. Like for instance, I'm going up earlier today to film. Um, oh no, I got a lot of fallout. But yeah, I went up earlier today or I woke up earlier today just because I wanted to film a little bit before I'm heading out the door. So hopefully I will figure it out. But I feel like if I can manage to at least, at least upload four videos a week, then I will be satisfied. And then in the end, not in the end, but eventually I might be able to tweak a little bit and to make it work a little bit better so I can do five times a week. I just have to see when everything comes comes around. This is not something that is going to happen in the beginning of 2019. This is something that is going to happen in... Oh my god, my eye is like so tearing up. This is something that is might going to happen in the end of January, beginning of February, something like that. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how everything turns out to play but I felt like I needed to talk with you guys because I have known about this for quite some time but I haven't said anything and I felt like you know what I need to tell you guys just so you are prepared I'm gonna hop into this palette from Colourpop this is the Ulala La palette and I'm gonna use this shade just to darken this up a bit Oh my god, and I have to talk about this because yesterday, when I'm filming this, yesterday I uploaded my uh, small creator tag video. In, in that video I talked about Illuminati and that one person told other people not to support me and so on because I am working with Satan. If you didn't see that video, I'll go ahead and link it up th there. But the thing is that I was pre-recording, so I had... Why do I get so much fallout on just this eye? I wish that I didn't pre-record that video because I actually had another instance with this person after I had pre-recorded that video. So I know that a lot of you guys don't have Instagram, but Trend Mode is a page on Instagram. That uh, That is the page where I always get all my inspiration in my Will I Buy It videos. Like this is a account that shares a lot of like the big mainstream brands so they share all of the new releases and those that page has like 1.2 million and one day i got so many tags and i was like oh my god i see my face on trend mood how exciting and cool is that so she shared my palette and the monasa palette that safai has post for or is the, the front of and I was just like oh my god this is so cool and I was just telling Nicholas I think we were going to eat and some or something and I was I was just like I'm gonna have my phone <laughs> because I need to like reply to comments I need to see what people are saying and you know I was so nervous but at the same time it was so much fun and then I see this person I saw and I remembered her profile picture so before this he or she i don't really know if it's a he or she but this person had you before commented on youtube and now this person found me on instagram and i was like oh my god it got to the point where this person was like telling people not to buy my palette he or she was tagging people and telling them like you shouldn't support this person or and yada 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 and i was still kind of just laughing at this person not at it but you know at the situation because what else can you do like laugh at it because i felt like this is just so it's just so strange i'm like a small girl from from sweden like i have why should satan and i cope together i don't even believe in satan why should i be a part of like the illuminati world but it got to the point where i got like mad at this person because i was i was just done with it and this person was like telling me that she had she or he i'm gonna call her a she do you see what i mean like right here my eye is just watering so much this person was like telling me that she had figured me out because 
I guess that some people reported this person. Uh, I know that some of you told me that you reported this person, so this person's comments got deleted. Not all of them, but some of them. So she tagged me and told me like, I have figured you out. You are, you're a piece of shit. And I have figured you out just because of the fact that the comment went away like this. You and trend mode are in cahoot. And I was like, do you think that trend mode knows who I am? She it didn't even tag me in the photo. She tagged only blush tribe. So do you really think that she knows who I am? No, sweetie, no. <laughs> and why I got upset was because of the fact that, you know, things can stick like that. I was even like, should I even talk about this on my channel? Just because what if I get called like the Illuminati girl, you know, the one, and then th this rumor sticks and people think that I'm a part of Illuminati for the eternity. Like I just didn't want to be that. And I just got so frustrated at this person telling me that I'm praying for you and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, <gasps> breathe, breathe, like put your phone away. Don't write anything you're going to regret later because I was just like, you know what? I'm going to tell this person off right now. I know that I'm always telling you to be kind and everything, but you know, sometimes you just need to like confront a bully. And I was just like, you know what? I cannot do this because I will not handle the situation the way I want to handle the situation. So I was just, I was just thinking like this bitch needs to go and this bitch needs to get out of my face. Oh, so I just put down a little bit of glitter glue. I'm just going to take the shade tickled just by like thinking about ColourPop. I'm like so mad at them. I have had my no buy for right now. It is the um, 12th December. So I started my no buy before Black Friday. I started it at... I think I started it like the 21st or 22nd or something in November and I'm probably gonna end it December 22nd or December 23rd. I do, I, it depends on when I get paid. I'm gonna switch to my low buy then. But the thing is that my no buy has gone so good and I have not had any problems. Like yes, it's ha it has been hard. But I have not gone to any website to like check out if like, for instance, before I was always going into like beauty based website, checking to see if they had any new deals or if they had any new products or so on. And now I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to go there because I know that I will be tempted to buy something. And I promise you guys that if I wasn't having a channel, I would have broken my no buy by now. I don't want to come on here when the month has passed and tell you guys like, yeah, I failed. I know that you guys will be supportive no matter what, but it's just like, you know what? I will show you that I can do it and hopefully I can inspire other people. But now it has gotten to the point where I think it's hard. And if you think that this is so silly, then that is totally fine. I totally understand. It is real, really silly to be like, oh my God, not to be able to purchase makeup for a month. It's a month. That's not a big deal, actually. I promise I will fix this later. I just need my eye to like stop running. But now I have seen so many beautiful things coming out. Like for instance, the Ajuvius Place palette that came out, the Tribe palette, oh my God, stunning. I really, I have decided that when my no buy is over, I'm going to purchase the Linda Hallberg Enchanted Secret palette because I have been eyeing that for so, so long at, that it's like time for me to purchase it. And then yesterday when I was editing a bit for my Will I Buy It video uh, that came up, I think it came up yesterday, depending on when you see this and when I uploaded it, but I think it came up yesterday. Um, I saw that ColourPop had released some new singles and they looked fabulous. They really did look fabulous. Like the shimmers looked so beautiful. Some of the mattes looked absolutely stunning. And I was just like, you know what? F you, F you. 
I'm gonna finish off this um, off camera, so I'll be right back in just a minute. Thank you for your nice comments about my lashes in my last Get Ready With Me. I actually didn't put on any lashes today either, and I don't hate my lashes. I think that my lashes are fine, and I know I have like mascara smudges all over. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna contour a bit. Um, yeah, but my low buy, no buy, I mean, has been eh. like honestly, yesterday when I saw the ColourPop had released those uh, singles, I went to the website just to check and I saw that they had like a deal. So you could buy an empty palette and fill it up with like 24 new shades or, or shades from their new collection and then also from like the old collection. And I love their formula. I especially love that their, their uh, pigments, but the pigments wasn't a deal of that. And I had that for like $106, but the deal was that you could get everything for $44. I was so close. Like I even started filling up a palette. I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. But I wanted to make you proud, so I didn't purchase it, but damn. I don't even know how people do like a no buy year. I'm so excited to see LS no buy year and her, I know she's gonna be fine. Like I know that she will make it if she wants to. I don't doubt that, but I'm still like so interested in the like process and I can't wait to hear her updates and everything. I think that that will be like so interesting. Taking the balms, bronzer. Yeah, by the way, I took a little bit of the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette because what else is new? And then I just applied it in my inner corner and then a little bit over this shade. I thought that it was beautiful. I love my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Honestly, I use it all the time. The hardest part for me with the Noba has probably been to like not check out the deals and everything and like some days I've been like, maybe I can buy this. And then I remember that, oh my God, no, I'm on a no buy. And I do think that it was, has been very healthy for me to do it. And there's been some deals that I didn't want to pass up, but I'm happy that I did pass them up because I know that it's not something that I really, really wanted. It's just something that, oh, I have seen this product before and now it's on sale. Maybe I should try it. Oh, and also I have to say this. Some people are a little bit confused. Like I know that there's a lot of people right now doing no buy years and low buy years. And a lot of you guys have said like, oh, I'm so excited for your no buy slash low buy year. I'm not doing a year, guys. I'm not doing a year. I don't really know. I don't even think I've said that. I am not doing that. I'm doing a just for a couple of months, actually. I'm just doing one no buy month and then I'm doing a low buy month. I may be doing it for like two or three months. I haven't really decided. I'll, I promise that I will do a video about that, but it's not gonna be a year. Uh, I'm gonna take this Burt's Bees blush. I've been using this a little bit or quite a lot, actually. This is in the shade Shy Pink. I think that this is so cute. Elief sent this to me. Um, I love the print inside of it and uh, I like it. It's a little bit powdery, but just have your brush off. So yeah, I'm not really sure if I have said that I'm gonna do a year or if someone has confused me with someone else or something, but I'm not doing a year. I still want to do a lot of reviews for you guys and so on. It's just that I, I want a new camera. I want a new camera. And I wanna get some use out of the products that I have. Like for instance, I haven't even given you a review on the Feral palette and or the Dragon Child palette. I really felt like I needed to try them out and like the Be, per Be Perfect palette. And I still have some palettes in my collection that I haven't used. So I feel like it's not really optional for me to like go ahead and purchase a lot of things now. I'm gonna take Joy's highlight in the shade Citrine. It looks like this. You guys know it's my baby. And also this year I'm gonna have some rules because last year when I did my no low buy, 
I just said that I'm allowed to purchase uh, eyeshadow palettes or eyeshadows. I was allowed to purchase blush and I was allowed to purchase bronzers and highlights. So initially, like I got ham on those, like I went in hard. So this year I'm gonna have a little bit more rules because I think I need it. I'm just gonna do my lips and setting spray off camera and then put some clothes on because I'm not really wearing any and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am done. I just put on the ColourPop Luxe lipstick in the shade Money Side Up, which is just like a pink, beautiful shade. And I sprayed my face with the Ofra Makeup Fister, Fixer. I always say Fister. And I always wonder like, what am I thinking about? Anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed chatting and following me along a little bit throughout this morning. I need to get dressed. I just put this on so you wouldn't see my everything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm going to um, leave then. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs the video down if you didn't like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!